Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Mag Truck Subway. So today guys, we're going to do the mod review on the Riddick's Mac Pinnacle. We got a load of motorcycles. We're in Bakersfield, California. We're going to head up to uh, okay. Los Angeles. Hope you guys are doing well. This is like the second time I tried I had to record this because the first time I had some issues and I had to scrap what I was working on. Alright. I had to re-record it again. So. But that's okay. Hopefully it wants to do well. Yeah, we're gonna do a mod review real quick. Take a look at this truck. Uh, like I said in the past, this is an awesome truck. Uh, I, I don't used to be the modded trucks. I don't drive them myself, but I drive them uh, um, for streams and for you guys to look at stuff like that. But for me, I prefer SCS trucks. But the only one I think I said by this truck that I really wish they would have changed is it needs more interior options. And I think that's one thing that's kind of lacking in that department. But other than that, uh, it's, it's an awesome truck. It has great sound, it looks good. Um, has quite a few options, add on options. It just says lacking in the interior. But a lot of trucks are like that. You know, a lot of the SCS trucks are like that. So I understand that. You know, that that's that's not a deal breaker at all. Um, SCS is currently working on the truck just like this. A Mac Pinnacle. It's gonna be good to see what, what when they come out with their Mac Pinnacle, you know, kind of what ready to turn left. we're looking at, you know. We got a thumbnail, so we don't need to get a thumbnail. That was my fault. I looked away. Put the cruise control on and then oh, it went right into the wall. Do 
we get a little bit of lag, it's probably coming from one of these mods, uh, one of the traffic mods. Uh, maybe they're out of date, I'll have to look at that and see if maybe that's what the issue is. It was not doing that, so uh, that's probably what the biggest issue is right now. It's probably going to be one of these traffic mods are out of date and make me lag a little bit. I got a lot of content coming up. I'm trying some different types of games. I want to see you know, what all you guys like over here. Um, I'm kind of getting an idea of you know, what you want to see. But it's always you know, good to try this new, you know, new stuff. Because you try new stuff, you bring more subscribers. You know, and that, that's kind of what I want to do. So, so it's always good to have you know, a mixture of different types of stuff that you play. That, that has a mixture of different types of subscriber count that you have. The way I want to look at it. If we, we have to, you know, face the fact that eventually, you know, you know, LS54 is not going to be here. You know, it, it's going to quit working because they're going to not be supporting it no more. You know, and that's what's going to have me happy. But it's going to be a while. I mean, with GTA 6 being announced, um, you know, it's going to be a while. PC version hasn't even, even been announced yet, so we still got time. But you know, we always we, we have to always prepare for that. So we have to kind of look at, you know in the future, you know, start finding other titles that we can play. You can kind of fill that gap, you know, where we left off. You know. I keep left there. Looking, but I'm always looking for different stuff to play. I do a lot of simulators on the on this channel. So I'm, I'm always looking for that. You know, some new kind of simulator that maybe has come out, or you know, even ones that have been out while and they're doing a DLC for. You know, I'm always looking for new stuff to take a look at. I keep Yeah, guys. All in all, uh, awesome truck. You know, really, he's a uh, he's a pretty, he's a good modder. I enjoy his truck. Um, I'm not really like I said a modded truck person. I don't use it much, but you know, awesome truck. All the drive I just like with this truck is interior options is something that I don't that um it really hurt, it hurts in this truck. It only has red, blue interior. I understand all these trucks, even the SCS trucks are lacking in interior options, and I understand that. Um, so, but you know, like I said, it's no, it's no deal breaker for me. Keep right. I still drive it. I've got some other trucks that I've downloaded. We'll be taking a look at. Modded truck stuff and stuff is starting to come out. John Ruder has released his uh, W9, the updated W9, so we'll be taking a look at that too. Short little run. Keep
right. He just plowed into the wall. I was trying to put the cruise control on and hit the button on the control and he just plowed into the wall. Okay. Drunk truck driver. Traffic braking. Thank you. 
Well, they want it. Right, when I turn around. I'm trying to hug this wall as much as we can. Back in the cab here and just if I ever do it right now. I don't have a tractor R, so I have to kind of back it up. So we drove excellent, drove 124 miles, took us three hours and 49 minutes to get here. We can save 17.1 gallon of fuel. Alright, so now we're gonna take a look at the truck. Go to Mac. Alright. So, you have two cab options for this truck. You have a flat top. Then you have the um, flat top with a sleeper with a spoiler on top. It actually looks better, I think, in a flat top. You have multiple different um, chassis options. You have from a, a long 6x2, 220 gallon. A 6x2 uh, mid lift, which is what I use a lot on my trucks. Here's a 6x4 220 gallon. A 6x2 long 300 gallon. 6x2 long mid lift 300 gallon. And then a 6x4 300 gallon, which is that right there. Okay. Engines. I have mods, so a lot, a lot of the mods I have that works on this truck. But you, you, you run anywhere from you got Detroit diesels. That's like 380. Uh, cat engines. Another Detroit diesel. This is Z mods. His engine packs. Uh, Detroit diesels. Cummins I. ISM's engines, that's a heavy duty engine. There's a Mac engine, a Mac E7. I don't know why it's got a Cummins logo though, but. Um, CAD engines. So you're running anywhere from, let's look at the horsepower and the torque. So this, uh, this uh, Detroit diesel is 380 horsepower, and you're in around 960. 996 pounds of torque. Okay, so you go down here toward the end. We've got a thousand horsepower right here, which is way too much. You have plenty of options now. Like I said, I'm running an engine mod, so you may not have the options I have with the truck. But you got Cummins N14s, uh, Mac engines, the ISX12s, CAT engines. Here's the Mac engines. The Mac engines go all the way up to 
about 505 horsepower. That's what I normally run in the Mack trucks, is a Mack engine. Uh, you got Cummins engines. That's a 625. So we got one engine that goes up about a thousand horsepower, but the Detroit diesel, I wouldn't even worry about the one that I, that's way too much horsepower. Um, Detroit diesel, the last Detroit diesel, last engine on here is about 735 horsepower. RPM around 12,000 to 1420 in, in the RPM range, and then your torque is about the same, 996 pounds of torque for the Detroit diesels. Now the Mack engine, it's going to have foot pound of torque. This Mack engine right here, the last Mack engine, is horsepower is 415 horsepower. It has around 16,060 in torque, and then it has a 1,000 RPM range. That's actually not a bad engine there. Any, okay. Well, it just crashed our game. So don't click on that engine. I was not aware that that would crash the game. That is one reason why I don't like using modded trucks either. Is because of that reason. So I'm probably going to leave this in. Because I want people to see uh, uh, you know, what it does. Uh, mods like that will crash the game. So we're not going to test it, but you, you know that that is the last Mac engine for the truck. We're going to go back into it. We can look at the options because it crashed on us. Give it time to load. Right, so we're going to go back into the garage. Go into here. Go to Mac. Let's not mess with that engine. Alright, so we'll look at transmissions. So, most of we do have other transmissions in here. We have. The M drive, which is Mac transmissions, has a 12 speed. Differential is about 279. Um, I'm not really sure about these transmissions. Uh, that's a 10 speed with a retarder. Differential is 247. 300 for that 10 speed with a retarder. Uh, this was another 10 speed. That's 270. This is another Mac transmission. A nine speed with a retarder. Difference is 311. Nine speed retarder 340. Um, this one has 379 as a nine speed retarder. 283 with a differential and nine speed and nine speed 240. Nine speed retarder 283 and another nine speed with 398. Another 9 speed, uh, 311. Okay, you got a 10 speed with a retarder, 311. A 10 speed with 398. 10 speed. Let's see. You have another 10 speed here with a retarder. 
These are all Mac transmissions. Uh, 379. You have another Mac transmission here. 10-speed retarder. 283. Alright. A 13-speed retarder. By another Mac transmission. 378. 13 speed retarder, 283. Another 13 speed retarder, 398. 13 speed, 283. 13 speed, 340. 13 speed retarder, 311. And, a third, and this is 18 speed. 18 speed, this is a Mac transmission. 18 speed with a retarder, 379. This is a Mac uh, 318. I'm 318. Uh, 18 speed. 311. 311 on that. Uh, 18 speed. 283 with 18 speed. That's a 340 with 18 speed. The end this top one right here. The 18 speed um, transmission with a retarder is 379. Okay. The last uh, 18 speed with a retarder Mac engine is has 398 in differential right, I'm unsure of these transmits what, what the brand of these are the RTs is what it says but I'm not really sure the brand 18 speed retarder 300 differential that's a 390 differential here's a, here's more Mac transmissions 12 speeds that has a 239 that has a 311 the 12 speed 380 I'm sorry 380 380 283 I can't speak today 258 for this one it's a 12 speed 228 for this one is another 12 speed 12 speed there is a 283 12 speed is a 254 379 12 speed okay this is a M drive transmission it has a 12.1 with the retarder it has a, a differential of 311 this is um, a 13 speed differential of 226. All right, here's another 12.1 with the retarder, uh, 283. And a 13 speed with the retarder, a 254 differential. The you have a 13 speed with the retarder, a 283. All these are Mac transmissions. A 12, a 12.1 with the retarder. And differential is a uh, 379. There's a 14 speed Mac transmission with a retarder. Differential is 283. And then you got another, you know, that's a 14 speed. Then you got a M drive transmission, a 12.2, 12 plus 2 with a retarder. And differential on that is a 311. Here's another 12, 12 plus 2 with differential 340. And a, a 12 plus 2. Differential of 379. So, a lot of transmission options for the truck, which is awesome. And this is the interior that I was talking about. It only has blue and red. So, it needs a little bit of love on the interior line, but other than that, you know, that's not no real big deal. That's not no uh, game changer, nothing like that. So, you have multiple colors. Um. You have the metallics, as you know, basic colors, black, orange, like a tan color, gray, has like two different types of red, green, blue, gold, white, gray, violet, brown, that's another gray, yellow. So, multiple different options for color, too. So, it has, like I said, quite a few options for this truck. Alright, so it has two bumpers. Chrome large bumper. And then it has this bumper here with a, with a light, the lip on it. It has the oversized banner you want to put that on. It has uh, headlight guards. You want to put it around the headlights. It has hood mirrors, one option for that. Actually, I only think these trucks come with one option for hood mirrors in real life, I think. They may have changed that now. <clears throat> it 
has a metal deflector. You can make the um, air vent guard, air vent cover chrome, which is pretty cool. I think I've seen that before in real life. So you do have options for the regular mirrors. Making me um, like the, they have uh, mirror duties, mirror like that. Another mirror duty. This is standard mirrors. Standard mirrors. Like a chrome version of each one. So it has quite a few options for the chrome for the mirrors, which is good. Your lights. Different types of lights that you can put on here. These are the default. These are probably some from one of these car, um, car facts. The trucks that I have in. Excuse me, guys, it's early. Your horn options. As you know. Now, you can put lights up here. You also have a, like your backup light right there. But I don't like putting them up. I don't think it looks good. So I don't do it. Your chrome badging on the door. You have a chrome door handles. Lights on the side of the truck. Wheels. So quite a bit of options on the outside. So on the inside, um, options are kind of limited, but that's okay. I mean, that's you know that's pretty normal for these trucks. Got your side mirror. Yeah. Not very many options on the inside. You actually can put a GPS there like that. You want to put a different type of GPS up there. It, it does have the uh, SISL pack. Accessory pack uh, included where you can uh, use that. Like the cab pack. So. <clears throat> so I do apologize for the crash. I hit the engine and it made it crash. So. But all in all. Awesome truck, uh, Riddick. He's done a great job with the truck. Like I said, in my opinion, I don't think really need to be done with the truck. It does need some more uh, interior options. That's that's the biggest issue that I've seen. But it's not it's not a good deal breaker. It's still an awesome truck. It runs great, sounds great, looks good. You know, good interior options, all that. Um, really good looking truck. So, but that's going to be it for, the, of the, for this day's, uh, I'm, I can't talk this day. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on midday. I, I just got up, I guess. Um, for today's mod review, on American Truck Seller, the Mac Pinnacle by Riddick. Awesome truck. Highly recommend. Uh, the, now, the, there is a version of this on the workshop, but I don't know if it's been updated. I got this truck. You can look on most of all the common um, mod sites for ATS. It is kept updated regularly. Every time the game updates, he does update his truck. So it is definitely a truck that you can uh, read and run. And updates are always coming out for it. Every, every time the game updates, he updates. So, highly recommend using it if you, if you like these Mac Pinnacle. Because I, it's probably one of the best Mac Pinnacle mods that I've seen in a long time. So, thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for subscribing. Channel means a lot. Have child growth. We'll see you in the next video.